We are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. 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 So here we are, NewYorkPost.com, Netflix offers an apology, deeply sorry for sexualizing kids. I say that now, having taken the whole day to look into this issue, look into this movie, see exactly what is going on here. Now, there's images going out around on the internet, obviously, um, a exchange between a customer service rep from Netflix that basically refused to denounce pedophilia when asked, do you denounce pedophilia? And they said, well, we really can't answer that question. Netflix, I have a question for you. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with your customer service representatives? Let me tell you one goddamn thing. I'm going to go through a couple articles, but I got to get this off my chest first because my anger is not directed at the woman responsible for this film. No, no, because this film has been misrepresented because this film is a satirical look at internet culture. Because if you watch the trailer, which I watched it with my wife, because when I saw this, I was pretty, I, w- I was pretty rattled when I saw the image. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why would you put something out there like this that sexualizes children, which is disgusting? Good. How much you have a seat? You have a seat over here, please. You have a seat right over there, please. Go ahead, have a seat. Go ahead, have a seat, please. Uh, have a seat, please. Uh, Why don't you have a seat right there. And we're seeing more and more of this from Hollywood. Now, Netflix has a show called Big Mouth. And I heard Tim Poole talk about this. Big Mouth is a show that was recommended to me by a friend. I watched about two episodes, three episodes maybe, and was like, I, I can't watch this. This is, it's just kind of fucking disgusting. Like, it's kind of, and I'm no prude, trust me. <laughs> this is just a theme in Hollywood, as we see with the whole uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein thing. This is Hollywood at its most vile and revolting. Yet they want a virtue signal to us. And tell us how bad, morally flawed we are. Because we don't like a goddamn movie. No, you don't get to do that anymore. And Netflix, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. Whoever had the brilliant idea to use that shot of those young ladies, those little girls, little, I can't even call them young ladies, they're little girls, needs to be fucking fired. They need, they need to be out of that. They do not need to work. They, they need to be mentally examined. I will say that they have something wrong we're gonna look here at i believe it's in this article i I don't want to even show this goddamn image but here's the french poster and here's the american poster what the fuck is wrong with this picture i'm not gonna i don't want to stand in it i just i don't i don't like it it's the french poster looks like story but it's you know it's a story about you know some some little little girls young young girls the american poster is like why 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 why? 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 What? What on earth? Like I'm ranting here. I'm sorry, but what on God's green earth did you made you think that was a good idea, Netflix? I don't give a shit about your bullshit apology. You can take that apology. You can turn that son bitch sideways and can stick it straight up your candy ass. You serious? I, I'm I'm at a loss here. I wouldn't pay for Netflix if I did. I sure as goddamn would cancel my subscription. Not that my seven dollars a month is gonna make a big difference. It's a drop of water in the ocean or a pebble in the ocean, as the saying goes. Why would I? Why would I financially support a company that puts out something like that? That markets mis misrepresents somebody's vision in that manner, in that gross manner. Let's move on with this article, though. So they've apologized for releasing a poster for an upcoming movie that online petitioners said sexualizes children. It does. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. The streaming giant plans to release Cuties, a French film about a young girl who joins a dance troupe on September 9th. The premise of the film, which features the young cast members dancing seductively, has received backlash, and so has the artwork used to promote the flick. The Netflix poster and the art used to promote the movie at Sundance differ heavily, with the newer version showing the tween actresses posing in crop dance costumes, which is disgusting. We're just going to skip right over that. 
We're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork we used for cuties. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film, which premiered at Sundance. I have another article we're going to look at about one of the co-founders of the Sundance Film Festival, which kind of brings this thing brings this thing to the crux of the issue. So we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. This is an older article. This is from July 2nd of 2019. But Sundance co-founder Sterling Van Wagenen sentenced for child sex abuse. This is the co-founder of the Sundance Film Festival that gave, I don't know how to pronounce the French pronunciation, of cuties that gave that film an award. This is the man that was run the Sundance Film Festival. This is the people that are involved in the film industry. And you're going to tell me that you didn't know exactly what you were doing, Netflix, with that poster. You're going to sit here and, and tell me that. Are you going to spit up my ass and tell me it's fucking raining? Here's an article from Newsweek today at 1.22 p.m. 4chan bans all images from upcoming Netflix movie cuties. 4chan. 4chan banned all this. Image board website 4chan has allegedly opted to ban images from the upcoming Netflix film Cuties, saying that it sexualizes children. The film has already received backlash from people, including a petition calling for Netflix to take the film off its service. Many users took issue with the poster that depicts the film stars in revealing clothing, as well as stating the main character joins a, quote, twerking dance crew. Netflix has since updated the poster and changed the language on the service to reflect a free-spirited dance crew. In a statement, Netflix spokesperson said that the film was misrepresented by the poster and description. It currently has an 82% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, so that's not saying there's anything wrong with the movie. It seems to be the movie is, like I said, it's based, it's kind of taking a shot at American internet culture because in the trailer, if you pay attention, the girls are talking about how many likes did this get. A screenshot shared to 4chan subreddit criticized Netflix and promised to give anyone who posted content from the show the boot. Do not post any imagery from this show which sexualizes children. Anyone posting images or videos sexualizing children will receive permanent bans, the moderator wrote in the post. Netflix may allow this crap. 4chan does not. Good for you, 4chan. I don't use 4chan, but good for you. That's excellent. That's the way it should be. There have been other threads on 4chan posted that have continued to criticize the film ahead of its release, as well as the streaming service's decision to release it. In a since archive thread, one user asked other posters what they thought of the film. Is this about exploring femininity or is it pedophilia, the user wrote, receiving many responses criticizing the movie. One user made a post defending the film saying that the film is actually a commentary on sexualizing young girls and the people making the criticisms missed the point. This film is about how internet culture is sexualizing young girls and how hypersexualization of women by entertainment media is damaging to girls, the user wrote. This film is made by a Muslim woman who is critiquing modern feminism. The outrage caused by this film is literally proving every point she's trying to make about society. Okay, so right there, right there, I, I really agree with that statement. And that's why I waited to record this video. I didn't want a knee-jerk reaction to misrepresent the actual point that I was trying to make. So I was aired on the side of caution, woosad a little bit centered. And yeah, like I said, did I go ham at the beginning of the video on Netflix? Absolutely. I, I didn't go off on the movie, though. My initial reaction was to, you know, disavow the movie. But knowing now what the, what the, the filmmaker's intention is in the movie... But I do agree with this filmmaker taking shots at the modern feminist movement because, let's face it, hardcore intersectional feminism is literal cancer, okay? So I do, I do agree with the point that this filmmaker is trying to make. It is damaging to not only little girls, but that can be, it can be amplified with girls because of the way, as the author said, the hypersexualization of women by entertainment media, and they make young women mature too early now. Like I said, the girl in this film, I believe, is 11 years old. A generation ago, when I was young, I mean, you know, my sisters, I had younger sisters, one's four and one's six years younger than me. You know, at 11 years old, they were still playing with dolls, you know, whatever, you know. I mean, 11 years old, 12 years old, I was still playing with G.I. Joes and, you know, <laughs> Masters of the Universe figures. I'm 40 and I do that now, you know. But <laughs> anyway, back to the point that the movie is not the problem. It's Netflix's marketing of the movie that has become the major issue. And Netflix deserves all of the vitriol that they're receiving for this. They truly do. And we're going to bring this video to a close by looking at an old article from January 13th of this year. Yes, this was all... Wasn't January of 2020 just great? There was no lockdown. No C-virus. This is from newsbusters.org. I just wanted to use this as a kind of a talking point. 
I'm not going to read this whole article. I'll link it in the description. RuPaul's new drag queen dramedy sexualizes 10-year-old child as a top. The crux of what I'm getting at here is this is about drag queens. I think one of them has a son. Uh, it's in text. I'm not playing any clips or anything. Right here. Edie's one of the other drag queens. Okay, follow me. First kid I've ever met that's a top. Now, this is this is what a top is referred to as no 10-year-old sex no no 10-year-old child should ever be referred to by the sexual position of a top, not even in jest. You're seriously this kid is 10 years old. Children are impressionable. Children do not like I said, you, everybody that knows me on this channel knows I am far from being approved. My one of my upcoming very special guests will prove that. Um as she is going to, uh, she she will she will be a very very it'll be a very spicy episode of the podcast when uh, when she comes on. I've been I've been hinting at this. We're just waiting to set up that date for uh, for her to make her appearance. And I, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to her about this about the uh, the sexualization of women in media and things like that due to the nature of what she does for a living. I'm dro I'm dropping eggs here for you, little Easter eggs for you here, but it's not what you think though. She does not do what you think. This though this issue is it's it really damages the psyche of children I, and, and i'm not saying that gays because i have no problem with that none whatsoever but this kind of the cry and i know there's people out there that think that you know gay parents should not you know be, then trust me i know gay parents and they are loving and wonderful people just like all heterosexual parents and i'm correlating this back to entertainment to this show because this is one of the cast members of the show's child and they're constantly exposing their child to this now will this boy grow up and be a drag queen who knows i guess if he wants to do that when he's legal age to you know be an adult at 18 then you know you do your thing because once you're 18 there, there's really there's nothing illegal about it and i don't think that no you shouldn't be doing this in public whatever i don't think you should have drag queen story hour at a library i don't think you should have a 10-year-old boy being called a top by a drag queen on a fucking television show. You sick bastards. This is RuPaul's Drag Race show. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure this video will uh, will find its mark with the audience. And as I said before, Netflix. But for my audience, I thank you all. Be sure to do all the YouTube things on the way out. Bitch slap that like button for me if you would, please share subscribe we are growing the channel we have so much more content i have a big big change and shift in the content coming in the next two weeks as i'm getting new equipment we'll be upgrading the studio so everything will be a little bit finer tuned for you guys the podcast is going to get bigger and better as we're up to episode 115 that's coming monday ladies and gents i'm e tepokuyan of the place to be reviews i have been here with all of you's and if i don't see you have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow